It's so unfortunate that yesterday a young man was trending because he climbed the network marks of ASO Radio demanding that Bola Metinibu reverse the first subsidy declaring a state of emergency in Sokoto and some other northern states that are facing insecurity with a high cost of living among so many. We have seen recently the return of WQ in FCT among every other state in Nigeria. But now the issue is that the young man will be now facing one year prison term. And why? The Nigerian constitution states that anyone who attempted to commit suicide has committed an offense and is tantamount to one year in imprisonment. So the young man was actually protesting for high cost of living and all of that, which was actually was placed on Nigerians by the government. But unfortunately, that his protest will now land him in prison. So this is now like a deterrent to everyone in Nigeria, that when you want to protest in such a manner, probably you don't have to come down. Maybe you just have to do what you went there to do. But it is not a good thing to go on a suicide mission. Like, again, we had another scenario where a popular uh, social media influencer was also arrested for protesting, you know, waving the flag and shouting, Hunger Day in Abuja. Now, you see, one went on a suicide mission, was arrested, and now facing a jail term. The other did not attempt a suicide mission, but yet was arrested. So what does that tell you? It is just simple that in a democracy in Nigeria, you are not allowed to protest against the government. Because when you do, the same government will arrest you and prosecute you for anything they, de they, they deem fit for you taking that uh, route. It is good to have a peaceful protest. But in Nigeria, we don't recognize protests. And it is a fact. If it is not a fact, then come let us go out to borrow money for a protest. And you see that me and you will be languishing in police custody. It is just a fact. So this is not to distance people or detail people from coming out to protest for any reason that they didn't fit to protest for in Nigeria. But this is now like a call on the current government of whom President Bola Metinibu have, you know, said severally that he has fought so hard for democracy in Nigeria to stand. But it's so unfortunate that even in this, his own democratic regime, we are finding it very difficult to even see dividends of democracy as well as some of the promises that democracy offer to its people. Do I make any sense? Let's have this conversation in the comment section. Thank you for watching.